turn around and visit a lot of coaches this past winter and summer, and uh, one of the things that I noticed that was probably the most lacking area was this whole concept of core stability. Uh, core stability is, a lot of people consider core stability as just doing abdominal work, doing a ton of abs and conditioning that middle section is, is as being all you needed to do, and that really is not the case. These exercises are very specific to core stability exercises, and it's very important that the athletes develop the proprioceptive feel and understanding of how this works, how the body is connected in the line. So we've put together this tape for you and the tape contains a, a variety of different exercises and again we, we, we've avoided redundancy here. There are many more exercises that we could have shown you. This is more of a, an appetite wetter, something to get your mind thinking in this zone. We are not uh, clued into the environment that you're involved in. So you're going to have to go and think of how you can do these kinds of things, how you can get core stability into your program based on your environment and the modalities that you have at your disposal. We've put the tape together in a, in a format to where the exercises are displayed from a moderate intensity to a very high intensity or a low skill level to a high skill level. Real important when you introduce these types of exercises to athletes that you start at the low skill level Make sure that they can master the skill with the correct technique, then develop the endurance at that skill level, and then slowly shift the skill to a higher level. There are a couple exercises on this tape that are extremely tough to do, and if an athlete can master that level, then I believe that they will be much, much stronger in the water. Real important, uh, as far as this tape is concerned, that again, you take the feeling that they get from these exercises and transfer them to what I would call a specific exercises on dry land that are more focused on the swimming skills, vasa trainer, biokinetic swim bench. Very important that when you do these exercises, that when they do the vasa trainer, that you make sure that they're putting the focus in the same area, that there's connectivity in the exercise and then take that step into the water to make sure that when they swim their strokes in the water that there's proprioceptive feel again there from what they've learned on land and applying it to what they do in the water so they get a sense of how it connects. This tape is not here to replace anything that you currently have. We're not endorsing the fact that it should replace anything that you currently have. It's really augmenting what you currently have, giving you ideas to support some of the things that you currently do. It's actually, in essence, uh, actually very good for those athletes that have never been introduced to any kind of dry land conditioning. It'll be a great stepping stone. Some of the, uh, the ideas behind here are great stepping stones to get into a weightlifting program. So there are many different functions that this can provide for you. And again, be creative. Look at the exercises. Figure out how you can do them within your environment. Again, we've put this tape together for you. We're actually, this technical team at USA Swimming is at your service. Uh, we're trying to do things that will help you as a, a coach, help you program. Uh, you can, these types of tapes are examples of that. You can also visit our website at USA Swimming, www.usa-swimming.org, programs and services on the left-hand side, and then select tech support or sports science in one of the red buttons on the right hand side will take you to our website as well with a fountain of information about various things that I think are of benefit to all coaches. And again, if you need any help from us, we're here to serve you, so just holler. The majority of the programs around the country do abdominal work in the dry land program. However, this is very general in nature. In this tape, we try to focus specifically on how the abdominal region or the, the core stability that is connected through the abdominal region can be a benefit to training programs for athletes. We talk a lot about the sweet spot in this program. The sweet spot is located approximately three inches below the belly button, right in this area right here. And the key of the sweet spot is it used, it's used as the connective source, the power source for the connectivity between the lower and upper body. It's really important in these exercises because we create instability with the dynadiscs and the physio ball that the, the connective source of power that keeps the body stable, that keeps the body balanced comes from this region right in here and that you make sure that the athletes don't use their arms or legs or different parts of the body or the extremities to balance and make the focus right in here. And it's also important that when you do create this connectivity of this power source that you don't limit the flexibility or the rotation ability of the arms or the extremities, but just lock it down in this area.
The equipment we use in this video starts with this physio ball. They come in a variety of different sizes. This is more of a medium size. This is a normal medicine ball, kind of soft cover, six pounds. Two jelly balls, small enough to fit in the palm of a hand. These are dyna discs, and again, these create instability, imbalance. Two dumbbells, 10 pounds apiece. And foam rollers, the one on the left is a full foam roller we don't use in the video. The one on the right is a half foam roller, which we use with the backstroke technique. We begin with an elbow bridge starting at the knees. Again, the athlete here is to set up the line of the body. Very important to make sure you have a straight back, head to the, through the hips. Make sure that the emphasis is placed in the sweet spot, which is about three inches below the navel. From there you progress to elbow bridge on the toes. Again, keep the line of the body straight, hips rotated forward. You can extend the elbows forward to create a little more pressure on the line. From here, we go to a single leg exercise. And again, what this does is create a little more torque in the body, kind of rotational torque that the athlete's going to handle by locking down using that sweet spot. The next exercise, the push-up bridge. The basic exercise begins with the knee on the physio ball. Make sure you keep the line of the body straight. Make sure you don't bend the elbows. From here, you progress to the shin position, which puts a little more pressure on the line. Make sure you keep the line of the body straight. Don't let the hips sag. Keep the hips rotated forward. And from here, you progress to the ankles. And again, this puts a little more pressure on the line. Progress to the toes. And from the toe progression, we can work to a single leg, which again puts some rotational torque on the body. From there, you can progress to a push-up, which puts a little more pressure on doing just a simple push-up. And for those of you that want to progress to the expert level, you can put a couple jelly balls underneath your hands and continue doing push-ups. The next series of exercises, uh, this is a knee to chest exercise, a crunching kind of exercise. Starts at the basic level with the ball on the knees. Again, make sure that you keep your line, draw from your sweet spot, progress to a, a pike position. And from here, you can progress to a knee to chest exercise using a single leg. And in that exercise, you want to alternate legs and finally go to the expert position where you place a jelly ball but in each palm of the hand and do a knee to crunch in that position. We move to the supine position. Begin this again. Put the focus in the sweet spot. Hands out wide as you find your stability. Slowly bring the hands to the inside and then place them on your chest. From here we can go to the same position except with a slight hip raise. From there we progress to a single leg raise. Again, you can have the elbows on the floor to create some stability as you mask the exercise. Raise the elbows off the floor. From there to a leg curl. Again, you can begin this exercise with the elbows on the floor and then work to elbows being off the floor 